All right, so today we've got some fragrances from Ahmed al Uh These fragrances I actually got from uh, BanadirFragrance.com. Uh, so definitely shouts out to BanadirFragrances.com and Salim over there at Banadir Fragrances. Um, the, the fragrance that I initially was interested in from Ahmed al uh was Amiri. Um, so that one was the initial one that I was interested in, but obviously we have several others here and we're gonna be going over all of them. Now, uh, all of these are in little like 10 ml samples, which I do really, really love about BanadirFragrance.com. Uh, I believe, you know, for the most part, most of his fragrances uh, he does offer in these, you know, 10 ml decants. And the, the main thing that I really like about these are they're not glass, so they don't like easily shatter if you drop them. And also the sprayers on these are really, really good. They shoot out a lot of juice. So um, really, really love the, uh, the setup for these samples, man. And like I mentioned before in a previous video with Amiri, um, Amiri, in my opinion, is sort of like a it's like a Middle Eastern take on, you know, uh, Bulgari's Tiger. So it, in my opinion, it's like a Middle Eastern and more kind of mature take on that sort of scent profile. Um, so it's not going to be as bright and as citrusy up top. Um, and also not as sweet as what Tiger is. This is definitely going to be a little bit more on sort of like the tangy side. Uh, because it's using like tang uh, tangerine uh, instead of uh, what is it grapefruit that uh, you know tiger uses and then in the dry down the dry down is going to be a lot more richer and denser uh, and thicker than what you know something like tiger is so this was definitely my favorite one uh, out of all of those you know I just overall I really do like the you know tiger scent profile um, I think that Amiri is going to be the sort of tiger, you know, sort of scent profile that you can wear all year round, um, but specifically more so kind of in cooler weather. So because this isn't as, you know, light and bright and citrusy as what tiger is, uh, I think that this is actually more kind of suited towards like the fall and the, and the winter time and also definitely during the spring uh, for the summer. I wouldn't necessarily wear this fragrance like when it's a hundred plus degrees out here in Vegas. Um, and I, I think maybe if I did, I would probably only wear like maybe one spray, one or two sprays at the very most, because it is definitely a, a thicker, heavier, denser sort of fragrance, um, you know, than what something like Tiger would be. Um, so this is in my opinion it's a, a very nice fragrance for sure um you know like i said i do at some point in time plan on getting like a, a full bottle of this um because i just you know again i enjoy these types of you know scents in general um you know but again keep in mind that this is going to be considerably stronger than what tiger is you know in terms of how it projects so that's why I said I, I wouldn't necessarily reach for this necessarily in the, uh, the summertime. Um, so you do definitely want to kind of be careful with that. But if you really want something that's going to last you like 12 plus hours, then this is absolutely one to go with. And again, this is Amiri from Ahmed al Maghribi. All right. So the next one, uh, this is going to be my second favorite fragrance that I got. Uh, and this one is called uh, Latani, I think, or Latani. And this fragrance is, is this fragrance is really good, man. This is like a it's like a woody, fruity sort of you know uh, floral type of fragrance, in my opinion. Um, this has notes like uh, bakor, candied fruits. Fresh notes, leather, musk, oud, pink pepper, rosemary, vetiver, white amber. It's just, it's a really nicely done fragrance that I think this would also kind of be like a, a pretty all year round fragrance. Um, obviously in the summertime, you know, you might want to go a little bit less heavy on your sprays with this fragrance. 
Because really, I mean, with all of these Ahmed Amagrivi fragrances, they all are like really beast mode projecting scents. So for some people, they may be a little bit too much, you know, especially if you're someone who's used to spraying yourself like, you know, eight to 10 times or something like that. I wouldn't necessarily go that many sprays with any of these Ahmed Amagrivi fragrances, but they definitely they are pretty beast mode and they last a, a, a hell of a long time um and this to the way that this comes off you really don't get any sort of note over the other which you know the the blend quality on this is very very good so i mean you just kind of you get met all at once with i would say mainly kind of like the candied fruits um the leather the musk the this sort of herbal essences so like the rosemary i don't necessarily pick up on like the oud right away with this fragrance um and i know like bakor that's supposed to be like something that you kind of burn to you know kind of scent your house with um i mean you i guess you could say i kind of get like a sort of slightly smoky sort of feel to this fragrance but overall, I mean, it, it does to me smell more of kind of like a, a slightly kind of fruity, herbal sort of floral type of scent, you know, with like some musk and stuff like that added in there as well. Um, this fragrance, I think, is pretty unisex as well. Um, I, I think a Mary to me kind of leans more masculine this one to me definitely leans a lot more sort of unisex so i could easily see a man wearing this fragrance as well as a woman and i think you know both would be able to pull the fragrance off perfectly um you know as long as they're dressed correctly um i don't necessarily think that this is like a super upscale you know sort of fragrance where you would only wear this dressed up but this also wouldn't be a fragrance that you would just wear like, you know, uh, what I like to call, you know, like with basketball shorts and a T-shirt or something like that. That would not be this type of scent. Um, but I, I do think, you know, maybe wearing this on like a date or something like that, where obviously you're dressed up a little bit, um, you know, this would still, you know, fit perfectly in a situation like that, especially during the day. Um that's more so the feeling or the vibe that I get with this fragrance. I get sort of like a brightness, even though this has darker notes to it. To me, this comes off as more of a sort of brighter sort of fragrance um, that I would more so kind of reach for in the daytime. All right. Um, but again, man, this is very, very good. Uh, you, another fragrance you're going to easily get, you know, over 12 plus hours with and the projection on it is going to be beast mode that's really that's going to apply to all of these fragrances honestly um all of these fragrances are going to last you over 12 hours and the projection is going to be beast mode on all of these so i'm not even gonna you know necessarily give performance you know figures on you know these uh fragrances going forward all of these fragrances they basically they perform about the same like i said they're on my skin over 12 plus hours and they project heavily you know at least for probably the first three hours or so like they're they're really really strong fragrances so i do appreciate that now this fragrance latani it is going to be a little bit on the higher end um every site that i've seen it on including banadere fragrance it normally goes for like around 90 ish dollars so, you know, for some people that may be a bit of a turnoff, um, I do think that, you know, this is, it's on the same quality level as, you know, definitely fragrances that cost way more than that. So, you know, I think as long as you can get your nose on the scent and, you know, you actually, you like the scent profile, then I think $90 is actually a fair price uh, you know to ask for this fragrance um, most of these fragrances are about half of that price um, you know thankfully but this one is a little bit more higher end um, but I do think again that it is worth it all right so again that's Letani all right so the next one is Ignite Rose all right so um, 
you know, if you're familiar with me at all on this channel, you know, at least for me, I don't, I'm not like the biggest fan of rose scents. Um, you know, especially like a lot of the sort of Middle Eastern kind of rose scents. But man, this one was actually very, very good in my opinion, man. Um, it, it kind of, it, it came off initially smelling a little bit weird in my opinion. It kind of has like this almost like fruity, but yet at the same time, kind of like seaweed sort of smell to it. So, I mean, it does start to smell, you know, it, it, it starts off smelling a little weird in my opinion. It does. But as it starts to dry down, I do definitely enjoy the way that this smells. Um, in my opinion, it is unisex. But I, I do think that this one probably would smell a little bit better on a woman. So this isn't necessarily one that I think that I would wear. But I wouldn't mind smelling this on another woman. And I mean, this one, this has a ton of different notes. Um, it has... You know, top notes of aldehydes, bergamot, honey, kelp, mandarin orange, peach, praline, and saffron. In the mid, you have damask rose, uh, fragapani, orange blossom, oud, rose, vetiver, and water lily. And then in the base, you have amber, oak moss, sugar cane, tonka bean, vanilla, white musk, and woody notes. So a ton of different notes. None, I, I would say you really don't get one note over the other except i think in the immediate opening i do get a lot of that kelp note mixed with the citruses and like i said it just it comes off a little weird but once you kind of wait and i would say probably after about 10 to 15 minutes or so that's when you know a lot of those sort of top notes start to fade and you start to get a lot of those mid and bass notes, that's when this fragrance does start to become a lot more enjoyable, in my opinion. And again, you know, with performance, it performs just like all of the others, you know, 12 plus hours, heavy projection for about the first three hours or so. So you're going to smell this all day long. But yeah, I do think that this is better suited for women definitely a man can pull this off but i would prefer to smell this on a woman for sure um i'll have links in the description to you know where you can purchase all of these fragrances i'm not a hundred percent sure as far as what the price is on this but i'm pretty sure it's not as expensive as something like Leitani is all right so again this one is ignite rose from i met on magribi all right, so the next one, this is called Hayana from Ahmed al Um, So this fragrance, this was another one that I actually, I did like a lot. So um, this, the way that it comes off, it comes off definitely very floral um, with like heliotrope and orchid. You do also, you get sort of like a tanginess from tangerine with this one as well. Um, you also, you get like a fruitiness that starts to come in after like the first couple of minutes of the fragrance. And just overall, this one to me, it just smells like a, like a sweet fruity floral, but that also kind of has, in my opinion, like a slightly sort of spiciness to it. I don't see anything listed in terms of spices for the notes. But this one does, to me, kind of have a slightly sort of spiciness to it. It also, it has a very, very smooth vanilla sort of base to it as well, which also kind of contributes to the sweetness. This one, I feel like it's more kind of suited for like the, the fall and the winter. Uh, and even for like the early spring, uh, in my opinion, as well. This is another really solid fragrance. Um, at times it almost kind of smells gourmand a little bit in my opinion yeah it, it almost kind of smells gourmand but not really not quite definitely more sort of floral 
and fruity. But I think that that vanilla, it, it, it adds a lot to kind of make this a slightly sort of gourmand filling type of fragrance. Um, this one is going to be, uh, you know, straight down the middle unisex, in my opinion. Um, not really like the sweetness doesn't make this too feminine, I don't think. I think that this is definitely a fragrance that a man or a woman could easily wear. Yeah, and I mean, this this fragrance is actually going to be one of the only ones that I would say in this collection that is slightly less strong than all of the others. So like in terms of the projection, this one to me doesn't project as much as like Amiri or Leitani or like the Ignite Rose or really any of the other fragrances within, uh, you know, this, these eight fragrances that I got, but this is still a pretty strong fragrance. Um, now I am appreciative of this one not being as strong because I think the way that this one comes across, if it were any stronger, it might be like borderline cloying. So I do think that with this one being toned down just a little bit, it definitely, it adds to the enjoyment that you get with wearing this fragrance, all right? So this is another solid one from Ahmed al Maghribi. Again, this one is Hayana. All right, so the next fragrance on the list, this is Coco Blend from Ahmed al Maghribi. Uh, so this fragrance, I wasn't able to, you know, find any notes on this fragrance. Um, they're not on the Banadere.com website, uh, and I, I couldn't find them anywhere else. Most of these Ahmed al Maghribi fragrances, you can find the notes for them on Parfumo.com, and then some of them you can also find on uh, Fragrance by, or I'm sorry, not Fragrance by, Fragrantica. But this one, I wasn't really able to, to find that. Now, with this fragrance, I was expecting something different from this fragrance. Um, I was expecting this to be kind of like a, a gourmand sort of fragrance because it's called Cocoa Blend. Um, this fragrance to me, it comes off as more of just like a floral type of fragrance. Um, not really exactly sure what florals I'm, I'm smelling in this fragrance. I mean, maybe it's like some rose, maybe some violet mixed in there as well. And I mean, I would say probably like some, uh, some bergamot citruses in the top notes. But yeah, this fragrance, I mean, I wasn't necessarily crazy about this fragrance, um, especially considering, like I said, I was expecting this to be something that it really wasn't. And yeah, this to me, it just smells like a really, really strong, slightly kind of citrusy, slightly herbal kind of floral scent is what I'm getting from this. I think that it does smell better in the air than what it does up close. So, you know, you have that to consider. But yeah, this fragrance was, it was okay, but this is not something that I would wear, to be honest with you. Um, this also, I mean, this does last a really long time. I also got, you know, 12 plus hours with this fragrance as well. And this also is not going to project as, you know, uh, loudly as something like the Leithani or, you know, Amiri. I would say it's going to be like along the lines of what the uh, the Hayano is in terms of the projection, all right? So this one does start to get better in my opinion as it dries down for sure, but it's still not necessarily one that I would personally wear, all right? So that one again is Cocoa Blend. All right, so the next one that I have here is Ahmed al Maghribi's Takaf. Um, I think that's how you uh, pronounce it. I'm not sure. Um, so this one, 
when I looked at the notes, I was expecting something, you know, a lot different than what I'm getting from this fragrance. So this to me, it comes off as being like this really sort of tart, herbal, almost to me kind of smells slightly sort of spicy, um, you know, in the opening of the fragrance. And just looking at the notes of this fragrance, I mean, it has, you know, top notes of like bergamot, black currant, clary sage, ginger, peach, jam, and pear. So like, at least for me, you know, I love obviously bergamot, I love black currant, I love ginger. Um, and you know, I also I do like pear as well. Now pear, that is, I feel like that's normally a fragrance note that, you know, gets added into a lot of women's fragrances. Um, but I mean, I was expecting like a really, really fresh opening. And I mean, while this one, it does come off as slightly fresh, especially once it starts to dry down, this just definitely was not exactly what I was expecting it to be uh, in the opening. Now, once it starts to dry down, um, you do definitely, you start to get a lot more florals. You start to get, you know, a sort of earthy sort of feel to the fragrance as well. Um, it does start to smoothen out, but I just feel like the opening, it doesn't, even though it has all of those sort of fruity and citrusy notes, you know, in the opening, none of those notes really come across or, you know, it doesn't really smell that way, at least to my nose, when you first spray this on. This to me, it smells like a Middle Eastern type of fragrance. Um, whereas, you know, when you look at the, the top notes of this fragrance, you, you're definitely, you're not expecting that sort of smell from, you know, from those notes. So this, like I said, eventually it does get better. Um, it is a sort of, you know, fruity, sort of slightly herbal, slightly sort of, uh, you know, floral. And in my opinion, really sort of smooth type of scent. I do think that this is, you know, definitely a unisex scent as well. Um, not necessarily one that I would particularly wear. But, you know, I, I think that, you know, especially with Benadair having these, you know, 10 ml samples, I would say just get a sample of it. I, I don't know exactly how much this one is, but normally samples are like, I don't know, $7 or something like that. You know, I would say try it out and see how it works on your skin and see how you like it. Like I said, eventually it does start to get better. Um, there's a ton of different notes in here. None of them really start to stick out once it starts to, you know, dry down. Like I said, it just, to me, it turns into like a floral, earthy, slightly herbal, but, you know, slightly kind of creamy sort of scent, uh, you know, once it starts to dry down. All right. And I mean, the I, I feel like the projection on this is perfect. So it's not like it's not super beast mode to the point where like it becomes like a cloying scent. But this does last again, you know, at least about 12 hours or so. So definitely, man, check this one out again. This is Takaf from Ahmed Al Maghribi. All right, and then the last two here um, that I have, um, one being Ahmed Al-Maghribi's Marge, and then the other one being Ahmed Al-Maghribi's Ignite Oud. Uh, these two, I think, were like my least favorite um, out of all of these fragrances. Um, I know definitely the Ignite Oud I wasn't really feeling at all. Now, okay, so with this Marge one, so initially when you first spray this on i was thrown off a little bit by this one um so this is like a i believe it's like a oud saffron uh you also you have i think like some lime in the opening which the lime and this is like very prominent it's very very lime heavy really tart and sour and it's also, you're, you're smelling like this really kind of, I would say like 
almost smoky sort of saffron sort of note in the background as well. Yeah, it has like a smokiness to it while at the same time being kind of like tart and citrusy. While at the same time having kind of like this sort of, you know, oud smell to it as well. Um, initially, when I first sprayed this on, I was like, eh, what is this? I don't necessarily like this. But as it started to dry down, I did actually start to appreciate this one a little bit more. Um, is it necessarily one that I would, I definitely, I wouldn't purchase this. Um, would it be one that I would wear? Maybe, but I think this would be one that I would only wear. Like you would have to wear this like in an upscale environment. Um, you know, I, I think that's really the only time that I could ever see myself smelling like this or wearing something like this is, you know, if I was, you know, at some sort of expensive uh, dinner party or, you know, if I had to present to people like at some sort of special event or something like that. And I had one, you know, like a, a suit and stuff like that. Like that's really, that's the only way that I could really consider myself wearing something like this. This is not really like a, a casual scent at all to me. Um, this does smell very masculine. So I don't think this doesn't really come off to me as being like a unisex scent. I definitely think that this is more of a, a masculine style sort of scent. Um, but this is definitely not one that I would recommend blind buying, especially considering the price for it. So this is another one of those uh, higher end sort of Ahmed Almagribi fragrances. Um, I believe it goes for like around 70 to $80 or so. Um, so, you know, it's definitely, it's not going to be cheap at all, but I do think overall, this is a pretty unique and, and, and nice smelling scent. It's just not one that I would, you know, ever really reach for over anything else in my collection. Um, and I definitely, like I said, I, I wouldn't like wear this casually. I wouldn't wear this on a date. Um, you know, it, this is just not one of those types of fragrances. I, I do think that this is definitely more for like higher end occasions. All right. So that is my take on, uh, what is this Marge from Ahmed Amagribi. All right. So the last one ignite oud i don't believe that i i was really feeling this one at all i don't think that i like this one at all yeah so when you first spray this on it's i'm i'm trying to i'm trying to like piece together what this smells like when you first spray it on. Like it almost, to me, it kind of smells like, like those black, uh, dry erase markers or whatever mixed with like some sort of like green sort of, you know, grassy type of note. It just, in my opinion, it's, it's not, it's not the type of oud fragrance that I would wear. Um, now take that with a grain of salt because I mean, I'm not like the biggest fan when it comes to a lot of different oud scents. Um, for me, like if I'm going to wear a oud scent, it has to be a more kind of westernized, you know, f slightly fresher take on oud. Um, you know, I mean, I think probably the, the only fragrance that I have in my collection that I could say is like a really sort of aggressive oud forward type of fragrance would be something like Shagaf Oud Azrak from Swiss Arabian. Um, that is probably about the furthest that I would be willing to go in terms of like actually wearing like a, a really oud forward, you know, oud centric type of scent. This one is just a little bit too smoky for me. 
It's like really smoky. It has like this kind of underlying like kind of green sort of grassy type of note to it. It's just it's it's not really my it's not really my thing. Um so I mean this one the notes for it are geranium leather, cedarwood, patchouli, uh amber, moss, musk and sandalwood. So I mean it looks like it's saying that there's technically not any actual oud in this. And that it's more kind of like a floral sort of earthy type of, you know, fragrance. I definitely get the earthiness from this for sure. But the way that the fragrance comes across, at least to me anyway, it smells kind of oody to me. Maybe not the most, you know, like fecal oud or anything like that. But I mean, it to me, it smells like oud. That's what, you know, the, the combination of the notes kind of, you know, are telling my nose is, you know, what I'm smelling. But yeah, man, this is definitely, this is not for me at all. This one. Um, this one I knew right away, you know, out of all of them, when I first sprayed this one on, I was like, eh, I wasn't feeling this one. And so I was actually, I was kind of hesitant to try the Ignite Rose, but that one actually turned out to be really good. Um, this one, yeah, not so much. So I would say if you, if you don't really like super earthy, smoky, oody type of sense then you know you probably won't necessarily like this one um, but if you're into those types of scents then I do think that you will like it this is very masculine for sure um, I, I couldn't see a woman pulling this one off at all even though I mean I'm pretty sure that this is probably supposed to be like a unisex scent yeah for women and men but I mean, at least for me, it's just not for me. All right, so that's my take on these fragrances, man. I mean, for the most part, I would say outside of the Ignite Oud and like the Cocoa Blend, all of these fragrances are pretty solid. Obviously, some of them, you know, I wouldn't necessarily uh, purchase a full bottle of or like wear on a regular basis, um, you know, especially like the Takaf. Um, you know, or I think it might have been the Mars one was the one that I, I said. Um, yeah, the Mars one, even though this one, you know, it was OK, you know, it has that saffron and kind of like lime mixture. I wouldn't necessarily buy a full bottle of this one, but, you know, maybe in certain occasions I would wear this. Um, the other fragrances, though, I do think are, you know, full bottle worthy for sure. So. I mean, out of eight fragrances, only three of these, I could really say that, you know, I didn't particularly care for, which is, I think is a pretty good ratio, um, you know, from this house. So obviously I do have other fragrances from Ahmed al -Maghribi. I have uh, Cough, I have Oud Lavender. And like I said, I definitely, I do plan on getting uh, a Miri as well. So. Overall, man, I do really enjoy the house of Ahmed Amagribi. I think that they definitely, they make some pretty, you know, high quality, good performing scents. So, you know, if you're uh, looking for Ahmed Amagribi scents, I would say definitely the best place to get those are BanadirFragrance.com. So again, I'll have links in the description to buy all of these fragrances from BanadirFragrance.com. All right. So let me know in the comments below if you all have smelled any or all of these fragrances. If so, what do you all think of these fragrances? Do you like these fragrances? Do you just, you know, do you hate them? Are they just okay? Let me know in the comments. And also, if you're brand new to the channel, do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe. And again, that's Jamar from Vegas Sense. I'll see y'all in the next video.